Hello, welcome to Drawing Venn Diagrams involving three sets. This is a video to help students better understand drawing Venn Diagrams to visualize set operations and relationships. An example is initially presented and then discussed, after which you will be given an exercise to assess how you understood and apply the concepts. But before we continue, it is assumed you have a good working knowledge on set operations and how to draw and shade Venn diagrams to represent sets. Kung nakalimutan nyo na, you might want to recall basic concepts by clicking the links in the description below. If you are confident enough naman to skip to other parts of this video, you can also click the timestamps also in the descriptions. Here's an example taken from the Philippine Science High School System Math 1 Module 1.6.3. Please see full credits in the description below. Let us quickly look at the problem and the tasks we need to do. Please follow as I read the problem. 50 students at PSHS were asked what sports do they play. The results were as follows. 28 play basketball, 21 play football, 26 play volleyball, 16 play basketball and football, 12 play football and volleyball, 15 play basketball and volleyball, and 10 play all three sports. As you can see, we are tasked to draw a Venn diagram to represent the situation and then answer these questions afterward. We'll try to analyze each statement on the left side here, but remove the questions for a while. Let us focus to fill out this blank Venn diagram here. Notice first that we have already provided the universal set here, hence the label U, and that is the biggest shape in our Venn diagram. Now, three circles representing set B for basketball players, this big circle on the upper left, and we also have set F representing our football players, this big circle on the upper right, and finally representing the volleyball players here, this circle below. Now, sige, let's look at the problem again. But there are just too many numbers and statements here. Some of you might feel overwhelmed if you try this the first time. You can actually look at this like a puzzle waiting to be cracked. Kaya natin to! In problem solving, we want to put all numbers we see sa ating figure. And ang tendency natin is, we write as we read. Kung ano yung number na nauna, yun din ang ilalagay natin agad. Subukan nga natin. So, in this problem, 50 here is the total students being considered in the survey. So that must be the universal set, correct? Kaya lang, where do we place 50? If we place 50 here, this number, ang problema is, baka naman we think that the total of this region is 50. That must be a confusing place to place 50 in. So, if I were you, let's make this temporary muna. I will place 50 here, dito sa edge ng rectangle, meaning we know that the total of everything within this rectangle is 50. So, let's just fix that later na lang. Moving on, we know that we have 28 basketball players. Now, saan natin ilalagay yung 28 na yan? We know that this circle, the whole thing, represents the total basketball players. Some of us might write 28 here. The problem with that is, this might be confusing. We might think that 28 yung dito lang sa region na ito. How about these regions? Take note. The total of this is 28. So it's incorrect to write 28 there. So what we want to do is to make things temporary first. Why not try and write 28 here at the edge of the circle? Meaning, it's a reminder that the total of this circle should be 28, not just this region. We continue. We know also that 21 play football. Now, saan ba yung 21 naglalaro ng football dito sa Venn diagram? these regions, this whole circle F. So, again, we might have a tendency to immediately write 21 here. But that will be incorrect because 21, take note, is the total of this whole region. So, this will be confusing. Again, I suggest we make things temporary and why not try to write 21 at the edge of this circle, meaning 
It's a reminder that the total of this circle is 21. Next, we know that 26 play volleyball. Now, saan ba yung nagre-represent sa Venn diagram ng volleyball players? These regions. Again, you might have a tendency to place immediately 26 here. Now, that will be incorrect because 26 should be the total of this region, this region, this one, and this one. So, the whole thing. So, it's best to place it at the edge first. Again, temporarily because we know that the total of this circle should be 26. Next, we know that 16 play basketball and football. Saan ba sa Venn diagram natin yung naglalaro na ng basketball, naglalaro pa ng football? Now, take note, these are these two regions. Now, how did we get that? Check mo, di ba? This part, nasa basketball na, nasa football pa. This region, part na ng basketball circle, nasa football circle pa. And here is a very important word and will give us a clue because if you can recall, our clue was pag merong kang and it means intersection. Okay, so this therefore represents the intersection of set B and set F. Now again, we might have a tendency to write 16 here. Again, that will be incorrect. The reason is, paano naman tong region na to? Diba? The total of this region, the intersection of set B and set F, should be 16 na. So, paano yun? Now, writing therefore 16 here is incorrect. Now, if I were you, I would make things again temporary and write 16 here. Meaning, the total of this region and this region should be 16. Again, temporary pa rin. Now, let's try the next one. 12 play football and volleyball. Saan ba yung naglalaro na ng football, naglalaro pa ng basketball? Now, just like what we have done previously, these are the regions na naglalaro na ng volleyball, naglalaro pa ng football. So, it's the intersection of set V and set F. Now, again, you might have a tendency to write 12 here. Now, that will be incorrect. Kasi, paano naman tong region na to? Their total should be 12. So, again, temporarily, let's write 12 here. Next, 15 play basketball and volleyball. Again, we know this is the intersection of basketball and volleyball as we can see from the clue. Therefore, we don't write 15 here. Temporarily, Dapat alam natin that's the total of these two regions. Therefore, write 15 here. Sorry, nothing's still final and we're down to our last given. 10 play all three sports. Now, saan ba, dito sa Venn diagram, plays all three sports? Of course, dito sa gitna. This one. This area represents Yung 10 people na yan because they belong to the basketball players, it belongs to the football players, and it belongs to the volleyball players as well. So that means that's the first thing that we're sure of so far. We have 10 here in the intersection of these three sets. Now actually, the very first thing that we should have done is technique. You write this first. You start from the intersection of those three sports. Now we continue. Let's go back and work backwards. From here, done. That's final. Let's go back to this given. We know that 15 play basketball and volleyball. This one. Now if we know that the total of these regions should be 15. Now what will be in this region so that the total of this plus this is 15? We know of course this should be 5. So Nakuha na natin yung 15. Now, since this is temporary, let's erase this part. Total is 15. Next, we continue. 12 play football and volleyball. Again, going up. Sambay naglalaro ng football and volleyball. This region and the total of this and this should be 12. So, ano dapat sa region na to? This should be 2 so that the total is 12. Again, since this is temporary, we can erase this. Total of these two is 12. 
Next, moving on. 16 play basketball and football. This region is 16, but we know 16 should be the total of 10. And this one, so ano kayang iya-add mo sa 10 para maging 16? We know it should be 6. And since this is temporary, we can erase this one. The total is 16. Phew! Mahaba-haba yun. But we're not yet done. We continue moving on. 26 play volleyball. Now, saan ba yung naglalaro ng volleyball? This whole thing, naglalaro ng volleyball. And the total of this, plus this, plus this, plus this should be 26. Ano kaya ang missing na number? Parang total is 26. 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. Now we're missing 9 more. So that the total is 26. So we can now erase 26 here. Next, moving on. 21 play football. San ba yung total football players? This region plus this region plus that plus that. This whole thing should be 21. Now, para maging 21, ilan na lang ang missing? Let's see. 6 plus 10, 16 plus 2 is 18. 18, dadagdaga mo ng 3 should be 21. So we can finally erase this one. And lastly, 28 play basketball. We know that the total of this region should be 28. So including this region, that means we have to get this value. 6 plus 10 is 16 plus 5 is 21. We are missing 7 more so that the total is 28. Finally, we can erase 28. Are we done? Not yet. Because take note, we still have this 50 here. We know that the total of everything is 50. So ilan yung nasa labas? Edi, let's add muna itong nasa loob, the union of these three. 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 plus 3, 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. 21 plus 10 is 31. 31 plus 2 is 33. And finally, 33 plus 9 is 42. If the total of this is 50 and the total of this is 42, this must be 8. So finally, we can erase 50 here. Hence, we now have this Venn diagram that represents the situation described. Ang haba, no? Parang puzzle, pero exciting. Now, since we have drawn the Venn diagram already, we can analyze it further and answer these questions which have been presented earlier. So, question letter A. How many students play basketball only? Now, take note of the word only. That's your clue. Now, of course, we know the whole circle B here, they all play basketball. But some students included in this group also play football like this group. Kasama na nga sa basketball, nagpo-football pa. Another, this group. This group, aside from playing basketball, it plays volleyball and football din. Lastly, this group, aside from playing basketball, it plays volleyball too. Therefore, ang nagpe-play lang ng basketball is this part. Therefore, the answer in letter A is 7. Letter A done. Next question, letter B. How many students play volleyball but not basketball? Here, the very important words that we need to look at are the words but not. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng but not? Recall from our previous lesson, when you say but not, it means set difference. Okay, so how many students play volleyball but not basketball? Volleyball means V, but not means set difference. Basketball is set B. Now, if you look at our Venn diagram and shade the set difference V minus B, of course, V is the set. We will remove everyone na nagpe-play din ng basketball. We will remove yang B. Therefore, we only have this part. Take note, five, although part ng volleyball players, plays basketball din. So, hindi kasama. Kasi dapat it, they're not playing basketball. Ten also play basketball. So, hindi siya kasama. 
That's why we only have these two regions. Therefore, we can get it by adding 9 plus 2. That is the cardinality of the set that we need, which is equal to what? 11. So we write here, there are 11 who play volleyball but not basketball. Next, how many students play football and volleyball but not basketball? Now, that's, this is getting more complicated. How many students play football and volleyball? What does that mean again? And means, from our previous example, it means intersection. Therefore, let's write this in set notation form. Football and volleyball means intersection of the two. But not basketball means we have to get this. And then let's subtract those who are playing basketball. So let's show that in the Venn diagram. These are the group of students who play football and volleyball, their intersection, this one. But not basketball. We will remove those who play basketball as well. So remove 10. We only have this part. Therefore, the answer here is 2. Next question. How many students do not play any of these sports? Now, this is an easier question. Of course, we know lahat ng nandi dito play at least one of these sports. Pero this eight, outside this union, they don't play any of the three. Therefore, the answer is eight. Or simply, it's the cardinality of the union of B, of F, and V, don't forget, prime, the outside of these three. Next, letter E. How many students play at least two of the mentioned sports? Now, this problem, we have to check every region and identify which region represents students who play at least two. When you say at least two, what does that mean again? It means two or more sports. San ba dito yung naglalaro ng two or more sports? Let's check eight here. Eight, of course, doesn't play any of the three. That's zero. So it's not included. Seven play basketball, pero basketball only. It only uh, They only play one sport, basketball. Six. Six here plays basketball na, plays football pa. So two sports. Is it included? Yes, it is. Next, this region three. Three plays football only. It plays one sport only. That's football. So it's not included. We need two or more. Five. Five, aside from playing basketball, also plays volleyball. So two sports, that's included. Next, 10 here. 10 actually plays the most of them. 10 play basketball na, football pa, and volleyball pa. So that's three sports. It's two or more. Therefore, that's included. Two, aside from playing volleyball, also plays football. So it's included. That's two sports. And lastly, nine. Nine play volleyball only. Therefore, if we shade these regions, we have this group. Therefore, to get the students who play at least two of the mentioned sports, we simply add them. We have six plus five is 11. 11 plus 10 is 21. 21 plus two is equal to 23. We have this 23. So, just so we know how it's computed, let me write it here. And that is how you answer these questions. So, you're now ready for some exercises. Bring out your notebook and pen and try this. Remember, by merely trying, you are already learning. You can pause this video now and try them. Kaya yan! Go!
let's quickly answer this problem. Let's start from the bottom. Kasi yun naman ang clue natin from the very first example that we had. So, let's try and do that. We know that 10 purchase brands A, B, and C. Saan ba yung 10 na bumili ng A, B, and C? This one. Their intersection. That's their common intersection. Now, para malinaw, take note, yung 10 na yan is simply the cardinality of the intersection of A, B, and C. Hence, we have that one. First given done. Moving up, 40 purchase brands B and C. Recall, B and C means the intersection of B and C, which is this shaded region. This one and this one. So, how do we get the answer then? We know that their total is 40. Since this is 10, ilan na lang kailangan para maging 40, this should be 30 so that their total is 40. So, we can erase this one. Next given, done. Next, again, we have the word end. End means intersection. So A and C means the intersection of A and C. This is 45. Some by intersection ng A and C. This shaded region, A and C. Their total, take note, is 45. Let me write that. But this is 10 already. Ilan na lang kulang para maging 45? It's 35. So we write that here. So, let's erase this part. We have used it already. Next given, 30 purchase brands A and B. Therefore, A and B means A intersection of B, which means this intersecting part. Now, we know that their total is 30 according to the given, 30 purchase brands A and B. But since this is already 10, ilang kaya to? This should be 20 so that their total 20 plus 10 is 30. Let's raise this one. Next, moving on. 95 purchase brand C. San ba yung bumili ng brand C? This whole circle, take note, they are 95 in all. Now, meron pa tayong missing number dito. 35 plus 10 is 45. 45 plus 30 is 75. Kailangan there should be 20 here so that their total is 95. We can erase this part. Next. 75 purchase brand B. We know that the total of this should be 75, the whole circle. But this is 20 and 10 and 30. 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 plus 30 is 60. Kailangan na lang natin ng 15 para maging 75 yung total niya. So, we wrote that. Therefore, we can erase that na. Next, we have 70 purchase brand A. We know that the total of circle A is 70. So, what's the missing value here? 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 plus 35 is, 7, is 65. I'm sorry. So, therefore, we need 5 more. Para exacto, we have 70. Finally, we can erase this. But we're not yet done. We have one value remaining. It's 150. We know 150 is the total of everything inside. So, ano yung nasa labas? So, let's add this one. Let's get the union of everything first. Let's get their sum and then subtract from 150. So, 5 plus 20 is 25. 25 plus 15 is 40. 40 plus 35 is 75. 75 plus 10 is 85. 85 plus 30 is 115. 115 plus 20 is 135. So, ilan na lang kulang? 15. So, 15 yan. You get the total, it should be 150. Finally, we have drawn our Venn diagram. Let's answer the questions. How many factories purchase brand A only? Now, of course, we know that the whole thing, this whole circle, they purchased brand A, every one of them. But then, itong mga to, they purchased other brands. So, 20 purchase brand A and B. This 10 purchase brands A, 
B and C kasi na member siya ng tatlong circles. This 35 purchase brands A na, purchase brand C pa. So the only remaining is 5. So yung 5, brand A lang. So that's the answer for letter A. It's 5. Next, similarly, brand B only should be this one, 15. If you're able to answer 5, you should be able to answer uh, B as well. Next, brand C only. Similarly, this 20 purchase brand C only. All the others bra purchase brands, purchase other brands as well. So lalagay ko dito, 20. Now, on to more exciting parts. How many purchase either brand A or B? Now, of course, we know what end means, correct? From our previous examples, we know end means intersection. May I answer this first? So let me write, we need to get the cardinality of A intersection of B, which is this one, 20 and 10. Kaya ang sagot, it's simply 20 plus 10, which is equal to 30. Actually, you know what? It's part of the given. You can check. Next, how many purchase brands B and C? B and C means their intersection. I mean, the cardinality of that intersection. San ba yun? This one, B and C, 10 and 30. So let me write 10 plus 30. Therefore, their sum is 40. Again, actually, it's part of the given. Next, how many purchase brands A and C? A and C means the cardinality of their intersection, which is A and C, this part. So let me write 35 plus 10, which is 45. Again, part of the given. Now, compare it with or. Or, take note, means union. Maalala nyo yung technique natin dati? And means intersection. Pero pag sinabing or, my clue is, it's the union. Sort of or, something like that. Okay, so A or B means A, union B. Saan ba ang A, union B? Lahat ng ito, part ng A, union B. So that means, let's add 5 plus 20, 25. 25 plus 15 is 40. 40 plus 35 is 75. 75 plus 10 is 85. 85 plus 30 is 115. So we write that. 115. What we did to get the union of A and B is add everything here. But why not try to add 15 and 20 muna? So 15 plus 20 is 35. We know that there are a total of 150. 150 minus 35 is 115. You get the same answer. Next, either brand B or C. Or means union. So let me write B or C. So it's this shaded part here. Now we can add everything. This part, you can add all of those, pero masyadong matagal. So instead of adding all of those, why not try to add these instead? So 5 plus 15 is 20. Eh, 150 ang total. 20 ito. This should be 130. You can check by adding all of this one. So let me try again. It's 130. Next, either brand A or C. So again, or means union. So A or C means A union C, which is the shaded part. Ang hindi lang kasama, 15 and 15. So either you can add every number here, or you add 15 plus 15 is 30. We know that the total is 150 minus 30. It's 120. So there are many ways on how to get the cardinalities of this set. Now, on to the more challenging ones. How many purchase brand A but not B? Remember what but not means? Nako, ilalagay ko dito. But not means, ano na ngayon? Set difference. So A but not B means A minus B. So if you look at the shaded region, let A be your cookie. B eats the cookie. Ang natira is 5 and 35. So let me write that. 5 plus 35, which is 40. Next, how many purchase brands B and C but not A? Nako, it's a combination of two operations. 
B and C means B intersection with C. Pero but not A. Nako, kailangan na natin yung scale sa shading ng Venn diagram. So, PEMDAS rule. Solve first B and C. So, B intersection with C, it's this part. However, we will subtract A. Tatanggalin natin yung A. So, A, it's this part. We only have 30 left. Last, how many purchase brands A and C but not B? So, again, it's a combination a and C means A intersection with C, but not B means minus B. So where is the A? In, where, uh, so where is A intersection C? We have this part. However, tatanggalin natin yung B. Subtract B as you can see. Remove then. What do we only have left? We only have thirty-five. I hope you got them. I hope you learned a lot. See you in the next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy solving!